Here's a solution for day three, problem one. Use the figure below to find the unknown angle measure marked with the question mark. So looking for this angle here. You notice we have a pair of triangles and in the bottom triangle, two of the angles are known, but this angle measure here is not known. Let's use the fact that all three angles will add up to 180 to find this number here. 20 plus 40 is 60 degrees. And so this unknown measure is 120 because 120 plus the 60 is 180. This angle and this angle are vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. So then this angle here is 120 degrees. Now let's focus our attention on the top triangle. In the top triangle, we know two of the angles, and we don't know the one with the question mark. So the 120 plus the 39 plus the angle with the question mark will add up to 180. We can solve this equation to find the answer for the question mark. 120 plus 39 is 159 degrees plus the question mark is equal to 180. Subtract 159 from both sides. We can find the answer for the question mark. This is going to be 21 degrees. Day three, problem two. The figure is a parallelogram. Find the measure of angle D. And what we have to work with is that the measure of angle C is 70 degrees. Because this is a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. These are parallel. This side here is a transversal connecting those opposite sides. This angle here, the 70 degrees, and this angle here with the question mark are same side interior angles for those parallel lines. There's a theorem that says that same side interior angles are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. So if this is 70 degrees, then this one must be 110 degrees because 110 plus 70 is 180.